up YouTube, this is you Tech here with another video. Today I'm bringing you a video of the Talk Mac productivity apps of 2016. Now keep in mind that this is only my opinion. If you're interested in any of the apps in this video, I will leave the links down below in the description. I want to start with Quick Rest. Quick Rest is actually the best way to switch between the screen resolutions on your Mac, especially for those Macs with Retina display. For example, if you're using one of the newest 5K iMacs, you can actually change the resolution to 3840 by 2400. Also, I want to say that Quick Rest also works on multiple monitors, so you're not limited to only one monitor. You can get this app for only $9.99. Next in my list, I have Window Tidy. Window Tidy is the best way to manage windows in your screen. Window Tidy comes preloaded with six different screen sizes, but you can actually edit delete or add any new screen sizes that you want. Window Tidy gives you the option to position the icons horizontally or vertically. This app is extremely handy when you're using multiple windows at once. All you have to do is drag the window and drop it in the preferred size screen icon. Window Tidy also works on multiple monitors. I do want to say that some apps like Photoshop and Dreamweaver and a few others don't support this, but you will be able to use this in most of the apps and browsers installed in your machine. You can get this app for only $8.99. Next up is Clean My Mac 3. I am currently running Clean My Mac 2, but the functionality is pretty much the same. I want to start by saying that this is a must have. It is by far the best way to clean and maintain your Mac. This app is going to make sure that you don't accumulate junk in your Mac. Personally, I try to run this app once a week and I mostly use automatic cleanup, which gets rid of junk and trash automatically. You also have the ability to scan your computer for large files that you probably don't need and actually delete them. You can get this app for $39.95, it is worth every penny of it. The next app is Snagit. Snagit is the best app for image and video capture, period. With Snagit, you have the ability to take pictures of anything that you're currently viewing in your screen. Unlike the default screen capture method on the Mac, when you capture a picture with Snagit, you have the ability to add arrows, annotations, numbers. You can blur some areas that you don't want other people to see. Then you can share this image on social media, save it to Dropbox or send it via email or whatever you want to do with the image. You can also record video, but what's unique about Snagit is that it lets you select the specific area of the screen that you want to record. You can get this app for only $39.46. And last but not least, it's actually one of the apps that I use the most, and that is Evernote. Evernote is the best way to keep your notes synchronized in all your devices. The good thing about Evernote is that it doesn't matter what OS your devices are actually running. It is not like the Apple ecosystem where you need to have devices running iOS or and Mac OS in order to sync notes. In Evernote, you could do a bunch of things. You can actually add images. You can actually record your voice. You could change the font style. You could do a bunch of things. You can even add a table to any of your notes. You can actually get this app for free but you can only use it in up to two devices and the limit of monthly uploads is 60 megabytes. Now, if you need more than 60 megabytes monthly uploads, you could go higher and buy the $34.99 a year for one gigabyte monthly uploads, or you could get the highest option that they have, which is $69.99 a year for 10 gigabytes monthly uploads. Guys, this is pretty much it. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel. And as always, catch me in the next video.